So, I don't usually get too excited about auditions because some of the auditions I get are like, okay, they're sort of me, or okay, it's like one or two lines, stuff like that. Um, but I have an audition that is coming up that I'm going to be taping for, and it's actually a really cool character, and I hate to get excited because when you get excited about things, it's a job, right? And I have to think of it as a job and not as something that, like, is exciting. As I do, I think I just get a little too worked up about stuff. So I want to think about it as a job, but this character is really cool, but she's, like, super young. And by super young, I mean like six years younger than I am. But I am incredibly lucky and have been gifted with the face of a 12 year old. <laughs> oh, there's a huge spider. What? I'm just not even gonna bother. Although I have been gifted with a 12 year old's face, I find that it is very hard for me to act younger than I actually am. And uh, so that's kind of something I've been working on. Um, I know it's hard for you guys to believe that because when you guys watch my vlogs, you're like, is she 20 or is she 15? Like, I totally understand where the, why I give that off is because I'm so energetic and blah blah blah. But when people first meet me, they think I'm either mid-20s or late 20s. They, they get confused because I don't look like that, but my personality is that, and I know you guys don't get to see that, but that's tends to be the character I give off, I think, when I go for auditions, because there was one audition I had once where I had to be like a 17 year old, somewhat, I was like a confident rude girl, but I needed to be insecure, because that was actually why she was rude to people. So, when I went, they were like, you're just, you're just too confident, and I don't really, believe that you're 17 and I was like okay well that's weird because I'm generally not that confident but okay and then I redid it and they said okay that was a lot better so I have an idea of what people are looking for ish but I still have so much to learn like it's always a learning process anyway I'm gonna go for a walk to the mall because my toes feeling better and why not get some fresh air and get out of the house from editing for a while okay yeah I agree. Do I look 15? I'm trying to look 15 here. <laughs> I used to wear all of the sweatpants when I was younger. I still wear sweatpants. It hasn't changed. And uh, I think for the audition, I know this might be too much info, but I'm definitely going to flatten the chest area. <laughs> so that's why I need to go over to the mall because they have stuff for that. Dude, it's called sports bras. If you didn't know that, that's what it is. Anyway, now that it's been too much info for everyone, <laughs> let's go to the mall. Let's go to the mall today. So yesterday when I went for that walk, I totally had a great story that I wanted to tell you guys. I don't know why I said it like that, but I wanted to. This lady, I went for lunch. Okay, Cassandra, thoughts. I had coffee again today. Lucky you guys. Um, Oh, energy is flowing through me. Actually, it's not that bad today. I feel like I might be getting used to this coffee thing. So, sorry, you guys will never see Hyper Cassandra ever again until I stop drinking coffee again and then I'll just die. So I went to lunch at Boston Pizza and I was wearing like all that teenager clothing or whatever I thought that was. And <laughs> I sat down and this lady keeps coming and checking on me to see if I'm doing okay. And I'm writing my lines out on a piece of paper because that's how I learned them and uh, well one of the ways I learned them and she's like okay I feel like I'm kind of stalking you so like you just continue doing your homework and just wave for me if you need me and I was like boom I still got it I still look like I'm in high school awesome so I did I didn't need to go and dress up as a 15 year old to make myself feel like the character. I just haven't done acting in so long that like anything to make me feel confident about today and the audition I needed to do and apparently that was something that made me feel more confident. So I did my audition today. I taped it so I could do it as many times as I want and I felt really good about it. Felt really prepared. Patrick, um, Patrick Sabongi, I don't know if some of you follow me on Twitter. I mentioned him in a Twitter post. He is so incredibly talented as a teacher, as a human being, as an actor. 
Uh, he helped me take my audition and just, he makes you ask yourself so many questions about the character that you're playing. It just amazes me how talented this man and his wife is. Um, he's also on Flash. He plays one of the, he plays uh, a cop on Flash, I think. I can't remember what his name is right now. Mm, like... Uh, Detective Singh, I think it is. I'm sorry, don't be mad at my superhero skills and knowing people right now. Um, anyway, if you're watching the show, that's who he is. Um, so he helped me with my audition and I just felt so good about it. Like when I actually do all my homework, I feel like, okay, I did my best. And if they don't call me back, that's okay because I did my best. There's nothing more I could have done. And when you do that, like, what the heck? So, I really love the character, but, you know, that's life. You don't get called for everything that you audition for. But, boom. Done. Did it. Yeah, yeah. Now I need to pack for my parents. And I know I'm going to do that kid thing where I pack a thousand things because I'm like, I'm going home. I'm so excited. I just don't know what to pack. It's like when you're a kid and you, like, find a flower and you pick it and you bring it to your mom or dad and you're like, mom and dad, I got this for you. Instead, I buy a thousand teas and go, guys, let's have all the teas. Look what I got. <laughs> it's that kid thing still. Don't judge me. Why should I ever pack light? Because that would be silly and then I wouldn't be Cassandra. But you guys wanna see the funniest thing in the world? Oh, hello, every tea collection ever. This is, this is my tea collection. This is what I've collected over the two years I've been obsessed with tea. So, um... No, no, that was not two years worth of tea. What? That's not two years worth of tea. How many years is it? That's a day's worth of tea. No, it's not. I didn't buy that much tea. I bought half the bag of tea. <laughs> no, but I didn't buy a lot of tea, I told you guys. Anyway... Stop lying to them. He said I should Instagram the receipt I got and put drugs wouldn't be more ex No, you said drugs would be less expensive. Yeah, drugs would be cheaper. That's what you said. It was funny, but I didn't want anybody seeing how much I spent on tea. Mission is kind of ridiculous and I wanted to bring it home and be like, here guys, have all the tea that I have. Look at what I got. Look at, look at. I was telling them how there's still that little part of you that when you're a kid you like pick a flower for your parents and you bring it home and you're like look what I got this is for you and I still do that but you know probably always do that you do that too when you go home to your mom though we packed a whole car to go visit your mom <laughs> it's true and you're bringing the drone aren't you <laughs> look guys look what I got look what I got I just want to fly it on my own mm-hmm out of your backyard with everyone going, wow. <laughs> it's just so fun to dro drive. Drove? To drone. It's try fun to drone drive. Drone drive. I am not, this is not product placement. I was not forced to say this, but get a Phantom 2 if you can. It is the most fun you will ever have with any toy. <laughs> ever. You don't even need the camera on it. The camera's really cool too, but just flying the thing is amazing. Um, if you, the, the copter itself is what, like $600? Mm -hmm. Yeah, so that is more affordable than the package of like whatever you guys got, but the drone itself is $600, so if you're really wanting to save up for something like that, there you go, you got the info. I don't like the word drone. Drone is something that kills people in foreign countries and is a terrible, like the connotation when I hear the word, everyone goes, oh, it's a drone. It's like, that's what militaries use. They do? I didn't even know Yeah, this. but they, people say drone. I mean, but people call these drones. I'm like, it's not a drone, it's a toy helicopter. <laughs> oh, but you fly it. Yeah, like every other toy helicopter. <laughs> I have to sound like a little boy. It's a toy it. helicopter. It's my toy <laughs> helicopter, and I'm going to fly it, yeah. Surprise, everyone. He hit puberty yesterday. What? Ooh, just kidding. Getting hair in all kinds of funny places. <laughs> Whoa! Ew! Okay, let's leave. And we're here. And it's so late because we left so late. So... I'm just gonna go to bed. Sorry the vlog's not longer. <laughs>